out of the Ten game, the bike stops. Remaining. If you've noticed. She three damage. Boykva oh. in a little bit of trouble. Pylite does have the lift. Uh, a little bit of chip damage is all they need to do. Burn uh, through the consumables. Another crush. Pilot does have another lift. For oh, he ran the left. Sunstrike. Oh. He runs down. He'll dodge the Sunstrike, but it's still First Blood going to Puppy. Why did he run right? Only could burn a little bit more mana off MP. He could potentially mess around with the next metamorphosis, but now, okay, you got that reflect. Cinderin takes so much damage. One more attack from Pilot Eye will do it. Cinderin will fall on the bottom lane, and Trixie, with no friends really around him anymore, has to back up to the P1 tower. Yeah, no stout on Clockwork. He got destroyed by the creep. Troll just seems so good. And Ninja's in pajamas that. Practically losing every lane. There, there are a thousand golden experience behind three minutes in. And mid one's going for a solo kill on Era. And I think he's got it with the alacrity damage, a simple call snap maneuver, and he finds the kill. Cinder will burn the man manner of mid one, try to slow him down too, but Honey can't reach him in time. Back to Puppy, who turns around, goes for his stun. Now there's no manner on mid one, but he's still got the alacrity damage. So Cinder, one more attack from Puppy. No, that's done from Honey. He'll keep him away. A secondary crush, however. Now it's Honey who takes the bonus damage. Mid one didn't go for the extra hit. He missed on uh Cinder and found the bounty room. Leaves an observer ward behind. At least he can cog burn out Puppy. But Puppy has an observer ward too. He'll see Cinder moving down. Even the courier. Lending a bit of a hand. A clap into the sun strike and Cinder has one last attack and Puppy now has two kills out of the four to the tranquils. Smoke movement speed. And they'll walk underneath the fresh dire observer ward. So Nip will probably feel pretty safe. Honey gets scattered by the conversions, and in comes Puppy. Sprints it forward. Honey knows he has to sacrifice himself here. Go for the sum. Move to the left. Boy, if we can go for a quick curse, but no! He's stuck around! Cinder is coming in. Maybe this is the reason why he's doing it. The cog burn up. Hard Eye and Puppy are really, really low. They need this kill. Puppy is not going to die on 11 HP. He's worth a lot, but he'll TP out. Koifa, one last attack, he's got the Arcane Curse to go, and Cinderin, one attack, it should be enough to drop down Keizu, and Keizu in the trees will die, Koifa gets the double, he was, and they turn the gank around. He was so slow at eating that tree. Like 200 something-ish, 280 maybe damage with the Sunstrike. Honey. Puppy and being visit very Puppy visible deep. by the Observer Ward. Puppy is deep in between the T1 and the T2. What's he doing up here? He tried to go on Era and harass him out a little bit, but Sinrin was there yet again. Directly into a BKB after having his Dragon Lance completed. He is top of the net worth at the moment. Does he need BKB? I don't think he needs BKB right now. They have Global Silence if a team fight comes in. So, I don't know. I don't... I don't I'm not oh, a huge fan. swap on Puppy. Koi for the damage output. It should be enough. Oh, he forced up himself in! There's still enough damage. Get the silence on by Pilot Eye. Mid one gonna drop that down. Silence of the movement speed with the Sam Peters. Not enough to get away. That ends up being a one for one trade off. Puppy for Koi. Responds to it. This is a nice one for Cinder. I don't know if mid one realized that his coattails just got caught. Hook shot four. They trigger off the dust. There's nowhere to hide, but a quick four star from mid one. Now that's a nice item for him to have to get outside the clockwork cogs, but the rocket will give him the vision again. So you can go invis, but the dust will last long enough for Eero just to raise him down doubly. The way for one person to attack it. That, however, is most definitely real. And the Vengeful Spirit, they swap him back in again. They trigger the Shrine. Yep, MP's going to try and survive this, but Stampede also going off. The era is very, very farmed, and... All, all these items are arriving quickly, but Puppy has his Blink Dagger as well. Talk about an item that used the Stampede of Team Secret and just accept the fact that Error is dead. Full Stomp and Double Edge that, but if he does, then Puppy's going to go on him. And Puppy, I think, is already... Looking towards the tree lines. Yep, hook shot in. Global silence. They're going to fight this out of the SF. Invoker almost down. The mech charge will give him just enough life from the Enigma into a quick black hole. Instantly cancelled off by the battery assault. But maybe now there's enough damage from magic missile. Stolen from Pilot Eye. Turning his attention up towards Koipfer. He won't need any kind of help. MP triggered up the metamorphosis. There was so much damage from Team Secret. And no answer. And again, another one with the amplification VS. Honey is sniped. Puppy is a god. And it almost worked. Like, if they kept the Enigma disabled, if that mech didn't get off, the Invoker wouldn't have survived. And now they're going again. Double edging the mech again from Keizu, and then even MP, Sundering Pilot Eye, back to full life. Trixie and Cinderin, regret decision. So much regret. It was happening now. Yep. Tier 2 for Tier 2 Tower. The question is, like, how, how far do you want to go if you're NIP? Like, do you want, even want to force the 5-man? You have the Aegis the Immortal. 
You have a little bit of problems with mid pushing it, and judging by the TP of Koi for already back, they ain't forcing Jack. It's a tier two tower for a tier two tower defense. Aero TPs to the front lines. You've still got the silencer in the mid, so the tower is to nine up by Aero. Sugar and TP'd into the shrine, though. Oh He's boy. Isolated. <laughs> He's running. And Puppy's looking for him with the amplification. They can see him. A quick four star from Koi for the. Uh, the stat is actually turning on Cinder and two. And they found another one. They got Trixie. Harney, he knows it's not worth the swap. So he lets it go. But Puppy blink forward underneath the tier three tower. You've got the damage there from MP. And you'll lose Harney as well. They came out to try and help the TP and defend a tower which they already denied. Now the buyback has to come out from the Centaur. That was not the teleport. Center a TP onto a shrine blind. Off stomp. The raises they need damage into the Terra Blade with the global silence. Maybe they got it, but no, the mana style. MP breaks free. Not to mention the Sunder gets life back very, very quickly. The defense is there. One smoke maneuver from NIP. This is well out of range of any kind of vision of, of anything. Pilot Eye is the one they the smoke breaks on Trixie. They're so close. The blink up, so Cinderin is the only one revealed at the moment. And he's right underneath an Observer and Sentry Ward. Trixie is a little bit away from the rest of the pack. Surprisingly, like, where's he going? Like, okay, so he blinks and it goes to Puppy. Tomato will end up catching him up. He's got Stamp Stampede with the Ags upgrade. So maybe he just tries to get out of this one with the Ags upgrade. The swap bound. Era Hani actually put himself into harm. Tway, the hookshot from Cinderin flies very much astray. And that's because Keizu decided to backpedal slightly. Keeping himself alive. But it won't help Cinderin now. Reveal his position with the hookshot. Pushes himself up into the hillside, but thanks to the Observe board, they're still on the hill. They find that kill. It's going to be the death of multiple ranks and likely the series for NIP. I do like how they try something different here uh, with Koikva on a different hero, but the team play, like Koikva wasn't there to help his team out. Like he yeah. wasn't there for the fourth step in the mid, which I thought was really important. Like Secret back off together as a team, they fight as a team. NIP, they're still not as well trained in that straight five man early on like a lot of the other teams in this patch. Yeah, it uh, feels very disjointed when they fight. Yep. A lot of the swaps had to be defensive. They couldn't really Oh, pull it MP was bait! The Stampede will have to be used once again. Hookshot for the Cog's gonna push MP down. Shrine giving a lot more yes. life back to, N to NIP, but MP just jumps forward, switches life with Era. But Tornado won't find him, but Trixie, he's stranded on the front lines. Honey again with a defensive swap, and Centaur just cold snapped and murdered. So even with the swap, they don't find the kills. NIP, I would say it's safe inside their fountain, but that would be lying. NIP, nowhere is safe. Team Secret own their home. And this game is really over. Honey's on the run, but you can be prepared to tap out. That was a really nice Hurricane Pike dodge. He dodged the hook stop. I don't know. Terra Blade was just amazingly good here, too. There's a lot of other benefits that he has, like the Reflection. You get the Presence of the Dark Lord. You get the Vengara, too. So he is uh, doing a lot of damage. Way more so than in a normal Terra Blade medium game. Black Hole around him out. Secret made quick work on ninjas in pajamas. Yeah. Game time not stretching over an hour for both of the, the in-game time for the series. So uh, congratulations to Team Secret. They're the first team going through the winner's bracket.